Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. We are discussing CSS pseudo class selectors. I told you that CSS provides various types of pseudo class selectors. In the previous video tutorials, we have discussed CSS pseudo class selectors with respect to navigation. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, we are going to discuss CSS pseudo class selectors with respect to UI that is user interface or you can say pseudo class selectors with respect to form controls. Before we proceed and understand pseudo class selectors with respect to UI, first of all I want to create one HTML document and then I create one simple form. I minimize the word document. I go to start. Here I say notepad. I click on the notepad. You can see that the notepad got open. Less than exclamation mark doc type HTML close opening HTML lang equal to en closing HTML tag then I say opening head tag closing head tag opening body tag closing body tag in the head section I am going to say meta char set equal to utf8 close I save this file file save as I save the file at desktop with the name default.html both sides I put double quotations click on the save button I minimize the notepad you can see that default.html page got created I right click on it say open with Firefox you can see that default.html page got open in the Firefox then I create one simple form let me go to the notepad here in the body section I am going to create a form I hope you guys have a basic idea about forms. If you do not have idea about forms and form controls, I suggest you people to watch my HTML video tutorial series. There I have explained in depth forms, how we can create forms, what are the various types of form controls, lot of things. So I suggest you people to go back and watch those videos and then come back to this video tutorial series. Okay, so form name equal to FRM login. So this name is very useful, right? We can access this form in JavaScript by using this name. Action equal to processor.html. This is a page which is going to process our form. Then method. How do we want to send information in the form controls to this processor.html? Either in a get or post method. I use post here. Then I say here closing form. In the form, I am going to create some element so let's start first I say span it is going to be email ID we accept from the user email ID closing span file save go to browser and refresh you can see that email ID text got displayed below that I am going to say here input type equal to email it is also going to have a name txt email ID then value is going to be nothing at present file save go to browser and refresh that creates one text box where we can enter the email id next i say here break i use two breaks let's take i create one more span it is going to be for password colon closing span file save go to browser and refresh you can see password text got displayed then i say here input type equal to password name for this control I am going to give txt pwd password and the value in this control is going to be nothing file save go to browser and refresh we got one more text box where we can enter the password let's proceed further below this I am going to say br closing br two brs we have now I create input type equal to radio I am creating a radio button name is equal to rtb gender and the value for this radio button I say is m because this is for text mail so here I say span male mail closing span tag file save go to browser and refresh we have a radio button and the text displayed as mail then here I say one more input control input type equal to radio name is going to be same rdb gender value is going to be f for female so here i say span female 
closing span file save go to browser and refresh you can see that female radio button also created and they are going to work properly you can see that because we have given the same name to both controls rdb gender rdb gender so they are in one group below that i say br pr and then i say input type equal to submit this creates a submit button value is equal to s u b m i t submit close similarly one more input control type equal to reset value is equal to r e s e t reset close file save good browser and refresh we have submit button and the reset button let me make little bit formatting for this uh, form here i go and i say title let me set the title title is going to be pseudo class selectors with respect to ui closing title file save go to browser and refresh you can see title is set to pseudo class selectors bracket ui and below the title i am going to say style type equal to text or css and i say closing style here i am going to say form i am going to tell to the browser locate a form and set these features or properties to it width is going to be 150 px and then background color l i g h t light g r a y gray semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the width of the form is 150 pixels as well as the background color is set to gray let's go proceed further and write some more content i am going to add padding padding i am going to set 10 px file save go to browser and refresh you can see some padding is added now the form is looking good you can see that as well as i can say border dash radius of 10 px file save go to browser and refresh you can see nice radius is added to the corners of the border so in this video tutorial we created the form in the next video tutorial we are going to discuss pseudo class selectors with respect to ui i hope you guys have understood what we have done here if you are having any doubt with the forms i suggest you people to watch my html video tutorial series you get a clear idea okay so for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get information on pseudo class selectors for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial